Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you this amazing cute project. So these are mini shipping boxes. How cute are they? They are, um, they come flat packed. You get a pack of eight. Um, and I honestly, I think everybody squealed with delight when we saw these because they are just so cute, aren't they? Um, stamping up logo on, perfect to send a little gift or some crafty projects inside. And have you seen, look, we even get washi tape, the same as our packing tape. So I'm so chuffed and they're just so cute. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to make them up and how easy they are. So as I say, they come in a pack of eight and they come flat so it's nice and easy to to send if I can actually get them out of the packet there we go um, and then just like we do with I suppose our acetate boxes they just need bending the opposite way so I'm just going to grab my bone folder there so I'm just going to reinforce those the opposite way and then obviously you've got your logo to know which way up they need to go um, so you actually have this part at the bottom um, and I just simply fold these, as I call them, the shoulders in. Put your hands in there. And then again, you just need to fold that part and then this last bit, which is probably easier just to pinch closed. And then you just simply shut it like you would a normal box. And there's your base done, nice and solid base. And then the top I've just folded like you would again, um, a normal parcel um, if you were packing a box. Again, just fold them all down um, and then just work your way round so you have um, one under and then one over. So this side, this one needs to go under and that one goes over. And that's how I've done my box. You can do them any way you like, I guess. You could just do them the simple way of just putting those two down and putting your tape on. Doesn't really matter. As I say, I've done mine that way. Um, and then we have the Follow Your Art Washi Tape, which is part of the Follow, you, follow Your Art Suite. Um, I still have them all written down because I've not learnt them all yet. But as you can see, we've got this fabulous Find the End fabulous washi tape that is the stamping up packing tape that we get and then you can just stick this all the way around it's not quite strong enough to hold um, the box tight itself really so I would suggest using something else and I've gone with when I can find it this beautiful Night of Navy and Sahara Sand Baker's Twine and this is off the Come Sail Away um, suite and then I've got some excess here and then I'm just simply going to wrap it round my box Oops. and then I want just to cut a length off there now I'm not going to tie it yet for the moment because I want to do my tag Ooh, quite warm now um, again a new stamp set that I'm using this is time for tags um, plenty of options again here I think it's just fabulous I love it um, and so I'm going to go with the little dicky bird again something for you and because it is a uh, night of navy and Sahara sand I went with some very vanilla just for a change and I stamped it in night of navy They are cling stamped, so they are well stuck onto my um, stamp box there. So stamp that in Night of Navy, as I say, and I keep forgetting to spray my stamping scrub. So Night of Navy, and just stamped that on. And then I'm actually using another new punch and this is the timeless label punch which works obviously with this and some other new goodies so just punch that one out and then I did actually use various different markers actually to, to colour this in 
I didn't use my um, blends for a change, but so I'm going with, which I remember now is not working too well, my soft suede. I'll just do this one quite roughly, just to show you that. Soft suede, and then we'll have some granny apple green for the leaves. And there's my cat now making a noise. And then some poppy parade for the heart. And then last but not least, we'll go with some crushed curry. I think on this one, just to colour the bird in. I say I am doing this quite rough and quickly. And then, because we don't have our handheld punch anymore, I went along with my take your pick and just used it to create a hole in the top of my tag and then I just needed a small amount of the twine and I'm just going to feed those two ends through that hole, if they'll actually go through, where's it gone? Just feed that through there. You can imagine that last time I did this it worked perfectly, this time it's just not going to. Let's try again. Okay. <laughs> it's clearly not going to happen, is it? Let's try cutting those frayed ends. Pop that through. Oh, for goodness sake. Where's my... I have a fabulous darning needle when all else fails. <laughs> and it looks like that's going to fail as well today. Always one project, isn't there? Okay, so I'm going to feed that through there. And this is where my tag now rips. Nope, we've done it. So there we go. Okay, so I fed that through there, and then before I do any more, get my box. So Clearly not one of my days, is it? Right, so I did my sort of tying, if you like, and then I used the two ends of my label and I pushed them under, one under there, and then I'm actually going to tie it through the um, two pieces of twine and then across that bit that I will then make into a bow and it sort of just holds everything in place really. Heavens above, I'm not having much luck with this twine today. There we go. So tie that up into a little knot, trim those ends and then back into here with my bow And at least now that will sit where I want it to. Trim those ends off. And it's not as pretty as the first one, but you get the idea. And there is these super cute mini shipping boxes. I hope you like them. And I hope you have as much fun with them as I do. So excited. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you all again soon.